real quick um, to clarify some urgent questions that have been asked. Um, it seems to be that most Canadians are really concerned about what to say to an officer at the border. And I'll break it down into two scenarios, land border and airport. At a land border, if you check my stories, I just shared a reel where a family filmed their entire interaction with the border services officer when crossing at a land border and refusing to one, disclose their vaccination status and also refusing to download the application onto their phone. You'll notice that the officer attempts twice to refer to family to speak to public health. The family does their job and they decline and the Canada Border Services Agency officer is literally powerless. There's nothing we can do, okay? If you are directed to park your vehicle into secondary, it's called a secondary examination or a secondary inspection, the purpose of that examination is specifically related to an act of parliament called the Customs Act. That is our only authority to direct you, a Canadian citizen or a permanent resident of Canada, to park your vehicle. If we direct you to park your vehicle or go anywhere, as in we tell you, you, go over here and speak to public health, that is when you ask them, am I being detained? If you're being detained, the officer has a duty on the spot to inform you of your detention, the reason for your detention, and read you your rights verbatim. They then have a duty to put you in contact with a lawyer without delay. And I promise you will never get that far because they do not have the authority to do this. Okay, so at a land border, if you find yourself being referred to secondary, clarify. Why am I being referred? If they say it's for a customs examination, it's fair game, no problem. But the moment that examination is done and they then try and tell you to speak with public health, the answer is a firm no. I decline. I'm not speaking with them. When it comes to the apps, use, this, use the, the phrase, I do not agree to the terms and conditions of the Arrive Can application, okay? They can't threaten to arrest you in order to get you to agree to the terms and conditions. That doesn't make any sense. That's agreeing to terms and conditions under duress, right? At an airport, it's a very similar situation. The Canada Border Services Agency officer has zero authority to direct you to speak with public health, okay? They will try, they will attempt, and this is where the onus is on you just to clarify because they're gonna try and trick you into speaking with public health. Am I being referred, once again, for a customs examination, or is this just to speak with public health? If they say it's just to speak with public health, decline. Say no thank you. I do not wish to speak with them. I'm going home. Goodbye. Now, from what I'm hearing, is it seems to be police officers in the airports are now being tasked with the job of threatening Canadians to arrest them if they refuse to download the application or speak with public health. You have two options, okay? The first one is to say, go ahead. Go ahead and start filming. Once again, they need to inform you of the fact that you're being detained. They need to state the reason. They need to read you your rights and they need to put you in contact with a lawyer right away. I promise you if it gets that far, the officer who's attempting to detain or arrest you for not speaking to public health is gonna turn into a bumbling buffoon and I pray to God you have your cell phone camera out to watch it. Okay, they have no authority and they cannot be doing this whatsoever. So at that moment in time, ask, am I free to leave or am I being detained? Okay, you will be free to leave. Now I know there are a ton of case by case scenarios and people have a ton of questions and I'm doing my absolute best to put it together in an easy to watch video, but I just wanted to hop on here real quick, clarify those two urgent matters, okay? And then direct your attention to the story so you can watch that reel and honestly just see how easy it is. Now you'll notice at the end of the video, the officer says public health will be in touch with you shortly, you know, to issue this ticket. Wonderful, okay? Bring it on public health, do your best. Um, this is how we backlog their dysfunctional, nonsensical system. Um, and, and this is how we can generate some very, very, very real change in very real time, okay? I'm gonna have a quick look, see if there are any pressing questions right now. And if not, I wanna wish everyone a wonderful day. God bless, and hey, if you're traveling abroad and you're worried about coming home, good luck. And I look forward to seeing your stories in your videos and hearing your tales about whether or not you were able to cross seamlessly or if you ran into some pure nonsense along the way. Okay. Public health, you mean big pharma slugs? Absolutely. 
<sighs> what about airports? I did cover airports um, in this video. It's the same type of process. It's just a little more confusing because an airport has, well, walls and signage and everyone's lost in an airport. So um, You should only speak to an officer at primary inspection. If you're landing in Pearson, that's most likely going to be a computer called a pick machine, a primary inspection kiosk. Um, I don't recommend ever using those machines. I recommend that you just ask whoever's working for the airport authority. I'd like to speak to a human being officer, please. Um, you'll have better luck that way. Those pick machines are going to automatically, you know, refer you to public health and, and whatever. Whereas an officer, you might get someone like me who actually gives a shit about humanity and wants to help you out. The border guard told me I am obligated to share my info with public health under the quarantine act and all the border officers are under the act too. Yeah. They're going to revert to the quarantine act. Um, those officers who still use the quarantine act have no idea what they're talking about. In the CBSA college, we go through training to be what's called a screening officer in the event that the quarantine act gets invoked. I can promise you there is no such thing as quarantining. I don't even think that's a word, but we're treating it as a word now. There is no such thing as sending someone into quarantine without visible symptoms of an illness. It simply doesn't exist. So I'll shatter that act right there. Anyways, guys, I'm going to end this now. Best of luck. And I'll see you soon. God bless.